Okay, so we're back. Uh, first things first. My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint using the Ambient Light Rejection Technology game. Uh, we're going to do the unboxing right now. Let me go grab, turn this off first because I'm playing something that has copyrighted on it. So let me go in here. See if I can turn this off. Pause that right there. Should pause. And there we go. Got a mind of his own. All right, and I'm shutting this off right now. Shut off my uh, projector in here. Um, this one really doesn't have to be on. I am just brain power for sake of this brain power. This one turned off too. All right, there we go. Okay, we got everything shut off. Um, let me go grab my stand. And we'll get this thing cracked open because I want to see if it works or not. Because we'll let it sit down. If it sits there any longer and there is something wrong with it, at least I can order parts or get it fixed or whatever. All right, so let's get this started. Let me go grab something. Got everything hooked up um, over there. Let's go bring the box over. Get over to the computer. Let's grab a chair for this. Let me set up in here. Throw our lights on. Alright, I'll set it up right over there. Alright. We're still gonna be doing this on the uh on the other screen. Uh, let me get a knife too. I don't have a knife in here at all. last night on the deck like I said this spider out there about the size of a quarter out there for some reason he's not out there but his web is out there so I'm gonna leave him be until I can get something I can throw up in that in that web to, to, to get his attention so I can kill it I'm sorry but I don't deal with spiders that big that thing was pretty big I should have marked it last night when I had the chance but I didn't do it all right so there we are we're gonna run us to the computer let me disconnect my um play this Sony in here. This is all disconnected, so we got enough room to play around with. So let's see. For the hundred and thirty-nine dollars that I invested into this knife, man, get knife. Hundred and thirty-nine dollars I invested into this projector. If I got a good deal, or I didn't. Hopefully we did get a good deal. All right, so. I was just about to go jump on my gaming system. I thought, you, you have an unboxing to do. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So let's see what we got in here. Boy, you guys are really late, aren't you? Where the freak were you at? When I was just funny, I told you they checked, they 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 picked their battles. When I was showing off a gray screen in here that was blowing out all the other gray screens, you were nowhere to be found. When I was doing demonstrations outside, nowhere to be found. But the minute we do an unboxing, you pop up. Man, you're so late. I'm not gonna ban you. You're just late, man. You guys pick your battles. You don't want to come here when I'm showing off that gray, that gray screen. That's when you should be in here. Oh, uh, yeah. You only, yeah, you only come in because you like the unboxings. Oh, wow. You like the unboxings? Let me show you something. See that black technology over there? The screens you don't like? Let me show you something. See all this light we have in the environment? Since I got you in here, cool boy. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I think it looks nice. That's good, that's good. I appreciate that. 
But I want you to look around and see how well much light we have in this environment. I like you crow boys, I do. That's why I gave you the nickname crow boys. You gotta come out of that. I was in there watching Sean and the Sheep. Yes, I watched Sean and the Sheep, so sue me. I like Sean and the Sheep. I gotta order me another Christie projector because that 505, I told you, came and busted. So now I got the money back on my account. I might order me, somebody was telling me there was another one bigger than the 525, 505 in there. There's actually one bigger than that one. They want a couple, they want a grand for it. I might get that one instead. Throw that money in there and get that one instead. There you go. It's a beautiful one. Now, this is what I wanted to show you, man. And you didn't come in the room. You upset me, dude. Hurt my feelings like that. How dare you? Y'all like that gray paint, right? That's what y'all like? Y'all like that gray paint. There you go. Got something for y'all right here. We'll get to the unboxing the projector, but y'all like that gray paint, don't y'all? Y'all love y'all live by that stuff, right? That crow paint, that gray paint, gray paint. You see that technology right there? That screen right there just blew out five top project, um, professional projection screens with a thousand lumen projector in a fully lit environment, 10 feet back. You wanna see what it looks like? Cause I know you're curious. I'm gonna go back and tell Crow. I want you to see this. No, 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 no. Dude, you can't compare my technology to his. We're way beyond his, you can't compare it. He doesn't do demonstrations on our level. I've been asking for the longest time of a demonstration with all the gray screens together, showing contrast. But yet, that seems to be something that people do not want to do because a gray screen is not supposed to show contrast. But we have one that can produce contrast. You see that beautiful color? They both have their strengths, how so? Explain to me how they have their strengths. I watch a majority of those demonstrations that he does in the dark. You see how much light I have in my environment? You see how well lit my environment is? I can produce an image outside on a thousand lumen projector at 12 feet back at seven in the afternoon. Has that demonstration been done yet? 1100 lumen challenge done outside at around 12 feet back on 1100 lumens outside. Challenge been done yet? How many sample sheets does he own in his category and how many screens have he tested his product against? These are all sample sheets from companies that I've collected down through time. He hasn't tested stuff on any stuff. DMP Supernova, Seymour AV, Seymour AV. Paxson's new screen, they're daylight. We got this screen already over here already. If I could get my hands on a black diamond, it would be here. So, no, they don't have their strength. You know why? I could make his product right now if I wanted to. You know why? We used to make his product right back in 2012 under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Look that company up. That was mine. That was my first company I developed. We were making that product long, long time ago. Yeah. Y'all got a lot to learn, man. I got contracts with my company. On top of that, as a matter of fact, if you go to my Crystal Edge uh, page, I posted the uh, deceased, deceased order from Screen Innovation when we beat their screen back in 2015. They sick the lawyer on us. Look that up. Nah, they don't have the same strength, my friend. He has a P1, right? He has a P1, P1 projector, ultra short throw. Why is this screen sitting in the dark? Now, he states that, oh no, and they don't have the same strength. Uh, let me explain something to you. Now, like I said, I lean toward black technology. It will always be my favorite. You know why? Because this screen can produce a contrast level that no gray screen can ever produce. But let me show you something. I 
That's how high the white levels are on my black technology. Now, when you can do demonstrations on that level, then you have something. Other than that, he's got everyday house paint. That's all he's got. He can't prove his day. He doesn't show anything that pretty much uh, that uh, that shows his product is worth anything. I'm sorry, but it's not. You have to do those tests. Like today, we're going to be outside at around 7 o'clock in the evening with a 1,000 lumen projector on that technology right there. Doing a star field demonstration. You have to have contrast, man. Let me tell you something. This technology right here, do you know this technology is front and rear technology? Do you know this technology, you spray it on plexiglass, it becomes a rear projection screen? This is not a gray screen paint mix like you would think it is. This technology is designed to be transparent if you paint it on glass. Now, if you paint it on a surface that's front projection, which we did these demonstrations already, I was able to easily go against a Gray Cinema 5D, DMP Supernova, the Paxson screen, any one of them. Blend into the screens without no problem, but produce a contrast level that was darker than these screens. And that's what I was asking for. That's all I was asking for to see a side-by-side -side demonstration of his product against other gray screens, but also to don't do those bright, beautiful colors. Don't do that. Show the contrast levels. That's what I want to see. But I couldn't get that. Let's get this open because I got I got a lot of stuff to do today. Got a knife, but I lost that one. But no, 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 no. He hasn't beat out right now. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna put a challenge up. Two days. We're going to do a paint on demonstration outside. If you go to my uh, my YouTube channel, go look at the trailer that comes on. That's a paint on a paint on demonstration outside of me painting over a gray screen and a white screen and doing not only contrast but colors and bright colors outside around seven o'clock in the evening, painting a screen outside. I want to see the same demonstration with that gray screen paint mix showing a star field demonstration outside. That's all I'm asking. But like I said, I'm not worried about it because that technology right there, that technology is going to put an end to any gray screen on the market. And we already blew five of them out of the water without a problem. I would love, and also too, I'm going to put it, this is something he won't do. Um, screen innovations, if you do happen to see this video, I would like to have your uh, eight, seven, and your black diamond if you would like to do a side-by-side -side demonstration as a matter of fact any company out there if you have any technology any gray screen screen paints we're willing to challenge your screen outside thousand lumens 12 feet back how do I have that kind of confidence because I did it already did it with, oh man packing peanuts God. Things I really do. Crow boys. Same videos. We're, we're at the same strength. Where? Where? You want to hear something? I'll tell you something. I back in the day, like I said, we used to make that paint. Make this at home. I guarantee it does the same thing. Get yourself a quart. Uh, there's a spider right there in my freaking corner, my house right there. Get yourself a quart of white paint flat, write it down, crow boy. Um, get yourself a teaspoon of silver, doesn't, doesn't make a difference. Teaspoon of hobby glitter, has to be silver, and about two teaspoons of black. Mix it up, I guarantee it'll do the same thing you just bought from him, because we used to make it. It was under, it was, uh, that ingredients, it's for Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Now when you have time, go on Facebook and Google, well, go, well not Google, but go on Facebook and look up Digital One Crystal European. You know what's going to pop up on there? That's a contract we used to have with the company 10 years ago. It was a huge, massive five-year global contract we have with them under a company, under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Yep. We were contracted, global contract. My first year, I got a global contract. But this company decided that it wanted to steal my company's technology. So we went in and we basically obsoleted all our technology. 
we had a guy by the name of Superman, I forgot his name, another one named Zone 701 or 708, used to be our beta testers. My company goes a little farther back than you think. Long story short, we basically dropped the old company because the European company was trying to take over my company, and in order for me to get out of that contract, because if I walked away from that contract, it would have been breach of contract and I would have faced a lawsuit. So how did I get out of it? I obsoleted my own technology and came up with a company called Digital One, to, oh, sorry, Digital One uh, uh, Crystal Onyx. That's where Crystal Onyx came into play. That was designed to get rid of the old company that was under a contract. And because the company was under a new contract, they couldn't sue me or anything because we had a new form of technology, a new company, and we got rid of the old one. We obsoleted it. Then we had all the beta testers test the new stuff against the old stuff, actually dropping the value of it, and they didn't make any money out of it. Don't stab me in the back, get away with it. So then, in 2014, as I'm doing all this, I'm explaining to you, in 2014, we started testing Black Diamond technology. Black Diamond is responsible for putting us on the road for black technology because at the time, I had that light gray screen paint that I told you that you know who makes. We were making that back way back in 20, uh, 2012, that's when I first started my company. As a matter of fact, if you go on uh, YouTube and you look up the BenQ MS500, put in Digital One Crystal Screen Paint, you will see my first videos when I first started my company. Look at the dates at the bottom. So now we come up with a company called Digital One Crystal Onyx. This was a black technology we're developing. At that time, my buddy June brought down a sample sheet of this, um, of this uh, of Black Diamond's uh, uh, material. So when he brought down that sample sheet of black diamond material, I put it against the digital, that light gray screen paint, and it blew it out of the water. Made my stuff look like trash. So that's when I started studying this technology because I knew this was the future. Now keep in mind, like I said, even though that screen is gray, as you can see, if that screen did not have the ability to pull contrast as it does, other gray screens cannot do that on the level that that screen can do. I wouldn't be bothered with it right now. I'd still be talking about their technology here. Now, long story short, I have an email posted from Screen Innovation back in 2014 asking us to come down to their facility and basically bring down a quart of that Crystal Onyx technology we developed. And in the, in the conversation, all things were going well, but at the end, they wouldn't give us an NDA, which is the non-disclosure agreement, which basically means if any party talks about whatever technology we are discussing, either party can be sued. And they refused to give us the NDA, so we continue to do videos on the products, and with that results, they got an attorney and basically told us that we had to stay away from the technology. That's why you don't see any demonstrations with us with Screen Innovation. Now, yeah, so uh, this is how it all came to be. All right, let's get this started. I gotta do a documentary so you can see all that. Oh man, peanuts, man, peanuts. All right, whatever, I got a vacuum cleaner. I've had one of these before. Now if you're asking, where's the difference between, I know it come with a remote control. Oh, it came with a power cord. All right, extra power cords, yay. I can always use another VGA, what's this? Okay, more stuff. I know they come with a remote control. I had one that came with a remote control. Like I said, I sold it. All right, so we're gonna take all the packing peanuts. We're gonna throw that back because I wanna keep the place nice and neat. We don't want to sloppy in here. But I, I, I do value your opinion that you like both, but like I said, you can make the paint yourself. We used to make it back in the day on the digital one crystal screen paint. All it is is just basically just, um, just basically this, this, this house paint a bunch of glitter some silver into it and that's basically what it is that's all it is we used to make it back in the day that's why you look at you look at our old videos from way back then you'll notice that we didn't do a lot of demonstrations with the lights on uh, we used high, a lot of high powered projectors we're doing the same exact videos he were doing way back in 2012 now the stuff we have now is a lot more advanced I can be here in a fully lit environment and do this demonstration on my screen with no problem Guess what? I'm 
No, no, no. You're not lazy because anyone can mix that. You just don't want to do it because you don't want to accept the truth that you just paid for something that literally you could have made yourself. That's all. You're not lazy. That's the excuse you crow boys like to give. You like to give excuses for things. You're, you're not going to basically come in here and basically that I'm trash crow on that level. You're a crow boy. Your name is crow boy. How would that make you look if you come here on my channel? The fact that you're over here watching my demonstration clearly shows that basically that you know that I'm actually on a different level. If you had no interest in what I do, you'd be over there. You think I go over there and watch his videos? No, why would I? I used to make that stuff 10 years ago. I have no interest in watching any videos over there. For what? I have no interest in watching any videos on Black Diamond, Screen, any, any big company. I, don't, I have no interest in watching their technology. For what? When I'm designing stuff like this. There's no point. It doesn't interest me. Unless they bring out a screen, if, if Screen Innovation brings out a screen that took a direct hit from sunlight on a 720p projector at 2000 lumens, oh, I'm over there watching that video. I'm over there watching that video. Yes. I'm like, what? That, that's fascinating. All right, let's see what we got in the bag here. Other than that, I don't find anything... I don't find anything impressive. I'm sorry. Some people can be upset about that. I just don't find anything impressive about it. I don't. You know, you showing me a demonstration on an ultra short throw projector, big deal. That's, that's not impressive to me. Well, when I have the ultra short throw projector here, I have my Optima GT5600, what I have upstairs. I didn't feel comfortable doing demonstrations on that projector, and I'll tell you why. It just sat too close to the screen. Of course, it's ultra short throw. But for me to get a challenge of it, there's a video of me taking the projector outside at 7 o'clock in the evening and watching a movie off of it. And producing a 190 degree viewing angle on a projector that was meant to be set for 100 inches at 140 inches outside. Now that's the challenge. The only thing you can do on an ultra short throw projector is just prove that the image is going to pop up without it going dark. Because a lot of these screens out here use a reflective material and what happens is they're not, they don't work well with ultra short throw and short throw projectors. They become really, really dark. So that's why they have special screens that are set up for these particular projectors. If you're going to gripe about a 720p projector, ooh, that looks really nice. Look at that. If you're going to gripe about us using 720p projectors, then that means there's a problem with your screen because you should be able to use a 720p on your screen. And this should look amazing. You know this is a 720p projector I'm using right now, right? So you should have no problem running a 720p projector. Oh. Just like when he made the statement when saying that our technology was so dark you couldn't see it. I just put a gray screen up there and I was able to blend into the gray screen with no problem. Now, keep in mind, he doesn't do things fair. Mixing our product with black paint and saying the screen was so dark that you can't even see it. Yet I can come here and show you a demonstration on any one of these sample sheets down here of a screen that's far more lighter than my black technology and produce an image. So explain that to me, crow boy. Explain that to me how we got a screen of this color, right? I can put that against my screen. Now, if my screen was so dark, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. So how do you explain that? Tell me how that's, how, how is this screen doing this? Look at the color. That's what I'm asking you. Explain to all of us in the room if my technology, as Crow says, is supposed to be so dark that you can't even see the image, explain how in the world do I have a Gray Cinema 5 certified screen sitting against my screen and I'm producing an image that's bright enough that I can blend in, but also producing a deeper and darker contrast level where the screen is not fading. Explain. You can't. You know why you can't? Because your friend turned around and mixed, put black paint in there to make it look like it was something that it wasn't. We don't do dirty tactics over here, Crow Boy. We do things honestly and by the book. That's how we do things over here. 
When I test my technology against other high performance screens, we keep it fair. I know certain screens that I'm working with, they can't work with ultra short throw. I have no business having an ultra short throw on any one of those screens because I know they're going to end up dark. So that's an unfair demonstration. If I'm doing a demonstration outside, I don't take any of those screens outside that were not meant to be outside. Dark star knives were not meant to be outside. So that screen has no business being out there. Now, if I go and get the Yard Master or any of the other screens they develop for outside, then we can take it outside. Got to do things right and buy the book. I've seen the dirty demonstrations that he does. Now we're going to fire up my projector over here. Let me grab some cords and stuff. That's why I'm not going to ban you. I'm keeping you on. Because the reason why I'm keeping you on is because you're going to explain to me and everybody else how we're doing these demonstrations. Mind, there's no smoke. There's no mirrors. There's, I don't have any special abilities, no special powers, no X-Men capabilities. You can, when we do these videos on this, I want you to come in and watch the demonstrations on this gray screen. Because you've already seen these gray screens on his end. You're going to see how things are done on our end. And I want you to sit here and I want you to watch. And I want you to explain on why we're not getting the same demonstrations. As a matter of fact, we invite him to match every last demonstration we do on that screen. Starting with the 600 lumen demonstration we did in a fully lit environment. You can start with that one. The 1000 lumen projector we used. And also too, every last one of those sample sheets I got in that drawer. He needs to get to collecting because I want to see his technology match all of them. And I want to see that red, that blue, that green pattern. I want to see all that. I want to see the star field, OLED demonstrations, all that. Fully lit environment. I want to see all those corners in the environment. And as I say, you should be seeing all the corners in the environment anytime you watch a demonstration. If you're not seeing corners, the environment's too dark. That's all. Simple and plain. If you're going to do the job, do it right. My dad used to always say, do the job, do it right, or don't do it at all. Oh man, I hope this works. Cause I, I have I have Epson's. I have Epson. I don't have an Epson short throw. I was planning to get an Epson long throw, but I couldn't pass this up. It was one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Couldn't pass it up. All right, we got to get some. Uh, we got to get a cord to this too. And this one is twenty five hundred lumens. Which one we need? We need a cord. We need a power cord. No, we need a power cord. We need. Yeah, so I got the 15 feet of cable. I'm not mad. No, don't get me wrong, people. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at Crow or anything. I just want to see him do an honest demonstration, man. Stop cutting these corners. I'm tired of people cutting corners. I saw the demonstration when he was claiming to have a screen that can produce an image outside. Having a slanted piece of wood on a balcony where all the light is coming in and hitting the back of the screen. And you got the projector sitting less than a foot. And it's not even a short throw right up on top of the screen. That's not, no, stick that sucker flat against the wall so light can pass back and forth across it. That's what you're supposed to do. See the light hitting my screen? Do honest demonstrations. All right, let's get this going. I'm going to keep you in here, crow boy. But when I get done with you, you're going to be a crystal boy. I'm going to make you a crystal boy. You're going to go back over there and say, I've seen the light! Tears will be coming down your face and everything. I've been crystallized. I have been crystallized. I'm going to crystallize you, cruel boy. I like you. I'm not going to get rid of you. I'm going to keep you right on my channel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep you on here. I'm going to get rid of you. I want you coming to be to compare side to side. It'd be wrong to ban you because you have crow in your name. Now, if you come here acting and saying a bunch of dumb stuff out of your mouth, then you get, you get banned. But you haven't said anything dumb out of your mouth. You didn't say it at all. You spoke and said, answered the questions. That's what you did. And that's what I like about you. That's why I'm keeping you on. All right. Let me see if we can get this going, people. Because we still got some demonstrations we got to do outside. And I know I'm getting the hate. I always get the hate. I always expect the hate. When people hate my videos, yes. It shows I'm ruffling them feathers. That's what I like. When I get them companies that contact me and say, Mr. Bird, we don't like you too much. You know what I mean? And we don't like the demonstrations. You're doing our product. I like that. I like that. That shows I got your attention. If you ignored me, didn't bother me, didn't say anything to me, then that means I'm not doing enough. So let's see what we get out of our projector here. $139. Now, if this starts flashing, that means my lamp is damaged. All this starts flashing, that means I gotta change out the lamp. Probably gonna change it out anyway. 
Cause I always change. If I'm if I'm gonna be using this, oh I keep forgetting it's a sure throw. So ugh. there we go. All right, now let's see what they got this on for uh, the, the source. Excuse me about that. And we got a anything here we can. Let me see what we got to do here on this projector. All right, got the menu. Let's see what we got going on. Where's the source? Source selection. I'm not going to be to see that too. Let me see what we got going on here. Got source search. Menu. This means the image should pop up. All right. Let me see what we got to do right here. What's going on? Ah, my fault. I did something real stupid. Plugged it into the wrong one. So let's see what we get. Anything to come up. Hopefully we can get a dud. Did we get a dud? I don't know. I'm looking here trying to figure it out. Can't get the run. I'll throw the Chromecast in there. Let's bring you guys up so you can see what's going on up here. So right now we're just trying to see if we can get a source to pop up. If we can, I can just run a Chromecast through. Let's go grab a Chromecast. Let's see what we can get out of that. Okay, I see it right here. It's off. Why is it off? All right, let me see what we got to do here. Hold on for a minute. Just give me a minute. Figure out what we got to do here. Computer. We got two. That's one. All right. Got nothing there coming up. All right. Let's bring it down. Let's see if we can bring it down. This is off. Why is this off? I need to have this enter. Nothing there. Let's go back to that source again. Alright, so we're going to run it through HDMI. HDMI's detection is always coming up a little faster. Uh, hopefully, we didn't get dudded out. Let's see what we got to do. HDMI. We may have a bad one here, people. I'm not sure. Got it coming down to HMI. HMI is showing on. I don't really bother about this. Because some of these projections are going to work, some are not going to work. It doesn't bother me none because I pay for them on a PayPal debit card. So I didn't get my money back. It's hard to find manuals. You got to go online. Um, for the older, for this projector, it's not that old. But for the older projectors, you got to go online. Some of them you can find them. Sometimes you can't. It depends on where you got to go. Oh, my goodness. Now I see why. I'm going to show you something, people. This projector is going back. I'm going to show you why. Look at this. 
See how little, see the light in there? See how small it is right there? That's a damaged lamp right there. See that? You're not supposed to see that right there. I'll show you. Yep, that's how you know. See that little way right there? That's saying these are some of the stuff you gotta watch out for on eBay. It may show they can it'll show the menu. The menu will show. But you see that little light right there just showing solid by itself. That's it. All this should be lit. All this should be illuminated. Right? See, I can stand right in front of it. See how when you stand in front of this, you see how it blinds you right there? Now look when I stand in front of this one. That's how you know. Lamp is damaged. You should, it, you, if you stand here, to all this should be blinded. See it now? That's how you know. So chances are, lamp is not damaged. If the lamp was damaged, this indicator would be popping or just blind the daylights out of myself. That's 4,000 lumens. I just shot in my face. This lamp would be on. This would indicate that you have damage to the lamp and it's overheating right here these two flash on right here that means you got to go in and replace the lamp the lamp is not even this is not even coming on so the fact that these two indicators are not coming on that means there's something more than than that that's damaged in this projector so all i got to do now is just go over to ebay well, i'm going to go right through paypal go through paypal's uh credit department that's where i paid for it from and in 10 days i'll have the money back on my account Yep, that's what that's from. The minute I saw that, because I had a projector go out on me one time, right there in the demonstration. Projector lamp went out on me. And when it went out, I just got this little spiral right there in the middle. And I said, okay, something's wrong there. And none of the warning lights were coming on. That means there's something more than just a lamp. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to base, I still got to have an Epson projector, it doesn't make a difference, I still need some kind of Epson projector, I don't have any Epson projectors here. Short throw would have been nice, but I don't really need a short throw. I need a regular long throw Epson projector. So what we're going to do is, <coughs> I'm going to go back in the day, I'm going to buy me another Epson projector. Alright, we'll take this one back, and we'll go buy and get us another one. Alright, I want to contact this, I'm not even going to bother contacting the merchant, because you know what he sold me anyway to begin with. You got to test these things. I'm pretty sure they got to plug them in. So you got to test them out. So I'm pretty sure he knew what he was selling me. So I'm not going to bother contacting him. I'm going to go in and just basically explain to uh, PayPal. Um, that's why I'm glad I do these live unboxings. Live, you, know, you do not have an idea that when I do live unboxings, you know how much it helps my case? Because I can just send it to PayPal and say, look, the live unboxing on the projector. Plugged it in from a bunch of people. Didn't even come on. So those of you that are on eBay, you know, eBay selling broken projectors to people, if I get one of your projectors and I do a live unboxing, not only am I going to post your link and tell people not to buy from you because you should have known better to sell something like this. You could have plugged it in. He'd say it was tested. So if you put down it's been tested, that means that person has plugged it in and has tested it. This was never tested. If it did, it would have displayed an image. So I'm going to post your link, buddy. And uh, bottom line is, yeah, that's, uh, that projector has some problems with it. See how bright that is? Can't even see that little spiral in the middle, can you? All you see is all that light coming at you. That's how it's supposed to look, right there. Not that little light where you see a dim little dot in the middle. No, 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 no. That means there's something wrong with that projector. All right, we're going to go out and get ourselves another one. Let me show you what's going on. I'm going to leave that there. I'll take care of that when I get upstairs. Yeah, Christie's a bright man. That's a 4,000 little projector just hit me in the face right there. But that's not bright, bright, bright. Let's go upstairs for a minute. This is the brightest projector in the shop. That's 52. There's a laser. There's Panasonic. This is the Christie right here. Well, right there, I got a Sembat. This projector I'm repairing right now. This is my 10,000 lumen projector. I'm repairing that one right now. Here's all the other little toys I got laying around. But uh, yeah, I love those. Those are the only Epson projectors I got. And there's my Optima GT 5600. I use that for work now. So in here, this is where I'm going to set up 
the Elite Screen. I ordered a 100 inch Elite Screen. We're gonna put it right here on this wall right here. And I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna coat that with that new um, uh, front and rear black silver 12. That's what that's gonna be coated in here. I haven't decided what projector I'm gonna use in here yet, so um, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. Tell you the truth, I should use, I might use the Panasonic. The Panasonic is a low lumen projector, 1500 lumen, 16,000 to one contrast. I think this one would be perfect for the screen. I was thinking about going with one of the Sony's, the FA30 or FA56, but I'm gonna go with this one right here. This is 1500 lumens. I think this would be more of an impressive demonstration if I do this at 1500 lumens in a well-lit environment. I think that's gonna come out quite nice, especially with all the window light I have in here. Being able to pull off a screen with this kind of light in here is gonna be real nice. See, nice and bright. This is an area I can play in right here. Got plenty of window light. So I can't be careful opening up windows because I got neighbors that think I'm, I'm already weird enough as it is. Now see how much light I gotta turn to the side. So much light we have in this environment. This is what I mean by Crow Boy. This is the kind of environment you gotta play in right here. All this window light, this is what you want. Environment's too dark, you can't, I can't deal with a dark environment. And open up There's some of this light in here. This is what we want. This is what we want to work in. You can produce a screen in this kind of environment. Everything else is a cakewalk. Nah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, it is a perfect VR room. I don't have to run into anything. Man, don't put ideas into my head, man. Come on, man. I already got enough crazy stuff going on in there. You're gonna have me thinking about that one next. Like, you know, it's a good idea. You know, he is actually right. It is a good, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. If they make the PS4, PS5, if they make the VRs wireless, then guess what? I may dedicate some of this room to VR because it would be nice because at times I have slammed into stuff that was in the way, but it really would make a nice, nice little VR spot. If I can put like, well, I would have the screen here, but if I can put like a center circle, something around in here, that would keep me from running into the windows or something, that'd be nice. That's a good enough spot for me to be able to move around right in here with those VRs on. You know, like a playpen for a kid before adults that would keep me from slamming or hitting my head or going through a window, which would be nice. There's plenty of room. Now, if I were to bump the sides, I would know it was too close. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good idea. I'm going to work on that. That's going to be another project right there. That's going to be another project. Yeah, there's a bathroom. That's another part. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. You got to see, that's a good idea. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Who, 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 who came up with that one? All right, that's a good one. That's a good idea right there. That's a good idea right there. I like that. I like that. Oh, well. Projector didn't work. Got to go order another one. Today, we're going to do a demonstration out here. You know, I can't wait to set up out here. We're going to have to do a demonstration. Relax. We got this thing set up for some fun. We're going to sit here and do a demonstration out here today. Well, I'm not going to take up too much of your time because I know y'all busy. I've got things to do. It's Saturday. You know what I mean? You've got some things. You probably got stuff you got to do. But I do thank you for taking the time to come in here. Uh, Crow Boy, you have a good one. You be safe out there. And uh, if I came off too harsh, don't take it lightly. I mean, don't take it uh, don't take it heavy you know what I mean just take it lightly but um I'm not going to single you out or anything like that I do have I'm happy you came and enjoyed the room stuff like that so you be safe out there okay and uh, I'm gonna get out of here real quick and you have a good one okay all right chief God bless <laughs>